Hey there, it's Lisa Jones, Executive Director with 31, and I wanted to come today and give you a little video tutorial about how to change graphics that you see from other people's postings. I know a lot of times I will post stuff on our team page, or you guys might see something on my Facebook wall, and want to change the information so that it's either your picture and your information, or whatever the case is. So, y'all know I'm not super tech savvy, but I found this site, pickmonkey.com, and this is super, super easy to do. If I can do it, trust me, you can do it. So, I'm going to walk you through a quick little um, way to change information on a graphic. So, you're just going to go into the edit button and pull up whatever picture it is that you want to use. So, for instance, I'm going to um, show you this picture that you recently saw on our team page with Kelly on here and I want to take Kelly's picture off and put mine in there and then of course I want to change this information here so what I'm going to show you can work for any graphic and not to mention that but this site is also great to create your own graphic so what you're gonna do the little butterfly over here is um, your overlay so you can come in and change shapes um, you actually would pick a shape and you can bring it over and change. But what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to do my own and I'm going to go over and grab my picture that I want to replace it with. And you see I'm there quite large. So you're just going to kind of scale it down, move it around however you want this to work. You can drag, you can see what I'm doing here. I am just adjusting the size of the picture. And you just play around with this until you get it right. And it's going to be trial and error. Um, so, okay. Still don't have Kelly completely covered under here. So you're just going to keep working it until you've got it the way you want it. Um, this actually wasn't quite the right picture, but you get the gist. Okay, so there it's covered. So you can go over here and change borders and things like that if you want to but if you're happy with it you can just come outside and um, click so picture is there now of course this totally messed with this here but that's okay because we can make that back the way it was we're gonna go back over here to this overlay and now I'm gonna click geometric and you can see all these different shapes so I'm just gonna take this circle one and um, let's move this out of my way it's gonna put a circle on here so you just move this okay and you can if you want to create you know to kind of mimic what we had going on here you can do that then you can come over here to where the color is black and we're gonna change that to the white so you see I've already kind of made the bubble continue. So that's good enough there. Well, no, it's not because we've got a little bit of black showing still. So I need to move that up. Okay, so you see how I kind of covered there. Then you can come over and do it again. Create another little kind of circle here. And we're going to change that color to the white as well. So you can already see how we covered that up. You also need to cover up this part. So you can do that in any shape that you want to. Um, let's see. We can move this over here. And you're just stretching it out. Okay. See how easy this is? Super easy. Then I want to come over. And obviously I don't want that black color. So I'm going to make that white again. So now I have a completely blank bubble. So now I need to go over and add text to it. So the T here stands for your text. And you are going to, there are a ton of free fonts in here. The ones with the little um, crowns, those you have to pay for. This site is totally free otherwise. So you just kind of click on the font that you like. Add text. It's going to give you a big text box. And again, you can move this around. And then you just type inside your text box. Okay, then over here you can change from your alignments left to right to center. I like to kind of center it. You can change your font size here. You can move this over or you can change your numbers this way. So, whoops, sorry about that. You kind of have to highlight all this first. Then you can change it. 
see how easy that is and then you can just kind of move this whole box once you get the circles around it move the whole box within here and when we have that where we want it just come outside the circle and voila we have completely transformed the image so this works for anything you know I can come up here and do the same thing cover this and change the text however I want to your next step is simply to save this image so you just come up and save it it's going to save it on your computer wherever you want it to be so I'm putting it in my 31 library um, you know and you save it with whatever wording you want so once I save it ta-da it's done my masterpiece has been saved and you can use this going forward so hopefully that helps you learn how to do this a little bit and when you're done with that project and you need the next one you can just go in and start another new one and it is as easy as that Good luck getting creative.